Maxillary palatal expanders are dental appliances that widen a narrow or constricted upper jaw, usually when a crossbite is present. Although palatal expanders are sometimes recommended to make more room for the erupting teeth to fit into the dental arch, peer-reviewed studies have contradicted its application because of the unstable nature of the expansion. The device is made of two halves that fit onto the upper molars with a screw mechanism in the middle. Hear what the doctors at Orthodontic Associates have to say about palatal expanders and why there are increasing concerns that maxillary palatal expanders are overprescribed, why the expansion process can be unstable, and why they can be effective for some patients and not ideal treatment for others. Palatal expanders are, are used mostly during phase one treatments. They widen the palate. Before puberty, the palate is connected by a suture that can be stretched. Typically, a mouth breather at three or four, to maybe even five, will have a constricted upper palate, and that can be corrected with a palatal expander. It helps improve the coordination between upper and lower arches so they fit together better. Currently, palatal expanders are, are being way over-prescribed. It's really the most overprescribed orthodontic appliance in the history of orthodontics. The only real usage of an expander is if the top jaw is narrow compared to the bottom jaw. You want to coordinate the jaws. You can't create space. Creating space for people and expanding unnecessarily just tends to do more bone damage than it does good. So, so we don't do it in, in a lot of cases. We very, very hand select the cases that we do expanders. I, I often hear that from patients and parents that they've heard from their friends, or their friend's kids have an expander or the dentist said maybe they need an expander. So they come for a consultation asking for an expander. Uh, but we are pretty conservative in using expanders. They're really for skeletal issues we're growing the upper jaw and they don't so solve all issues of crowding um, and avoiding extractions. There's really only a few indications that a rapid palatal expander should be used and it's if a patient has a posterior crossbite. I would not recommend using an expander if there's no crossbite because you're just expanding the arch into an unnatural form that is likely going to relapse back to where it began. So really, you only want to use it on those limited cases. There's been a lot of claims that say using an expander will help the airway, but most research shows that keeping the patient's arch form, maintaining their arch form is going to be the most stable result for them long-term. We realize you have many choices when choosing an orthodontic provider. At Orthodontic Associates, you will find a friendly and caring staff at all 13 Maryland locations. We have comfortable payment options to accommodate every budget. Please call our office for a complimentary orthodontic consultation today.